I'll be presenting today's Radiopedia.org case in radiology, transfusion-related acute lung injury. Case courtesy is demonstrated here, and the case link is in the description below. Presentation, we have a 60-year-old male presenting with shortness of breath several hours after several platelet transfusions. This is the patient's x-ray before, and this is the patient's x-ray after platelet transfusions. We see bilateral coarse reticular opacities in both lungs. This is the patient's CT. We can appreciate paraseptal emphysema, mostly in the upper lung lobes, as well as large areas of thickened intralobular septa on a background of ground glass opacities, also known as crazy paving, in all the pulmonary lobes. There's also bilateral pleural effusions. The patient was diagnosed with leptospirosis after having complained of weakness and myalgia without arthralgia. History of COPD due to heavy smoking. During hospitalization, the patient's platelet level dropped to 14,000, probably due to sepsis. The patient received six units of platelets. Approximately two hours later, the patient developed severe shortness of breath. X-ray of the chest showed coarse reticulations. The patient was subsequently intubated and ventilated. The CT of the chest, abdomen, and pelvis showed diffuse crazy paving and no intra-abdominal pathology of concern. Since all other parameters remained unchanged, for example, continued receiving the same antibiotics, except for the thrombocyte infusion, respiratory failure was attributed to transfusion-related acute lung injury, or trolley, for which she received steroids, in addition to the antibiotics and supportive treatment. She was weaned from ventilation after two days and released from the hospital two days later.